Hello and welcome to a new video. My name is Jessica. Today I'm going to be guiding you through a full body vinyasa flow. If you have two yoga blocks, go ahead and grab them and put them beside your mats. We'll just be using them at the beginning of our class for our warm up. If you don't have any props, no worries, you can do without them. And we'll start our class today in a comfortable seated position, either cross-legged or sitting on the ankles. Just finding whatever shape works best for you here. Giving yourself a few moments just to settle in. And once you've found your position, go ahead and soften the eyes until they close. Resting the hands on the knees or in the lap. Feeling your sit bones connected to the earth beneath you. And finding a nice tall spine, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, softening the face, relaxing the jaw. And just allow yourself to arrive here on your mat. bringing awareness to your physical body and the different sensations. And allow your attention to shift to your breath without changing anything, just noticing the quality of your breath. Noticing the subtle rise and fall of the chest, the expansion and the contraction of the belly. And then start to take a little more control of the breath here. And just allowing your inhales to match the same length as your exhales. Breathing in and out through the nose. Starting to cultivate more heat within the body. More awareness. And we'll set an intention here together to move mindfully today on our mats, honoring our body, honoring the breath, and honoring ourselves. Go ahead and take three last full cycles of breath here. Feeling more grounded and more supported with each breath. And on your last breath, you can slowly open the eyes. Coming onto the knees and preparing for a child's pose variation with the blocks. So if you have blocks, go ahead and set them at the top of your mat at the second tallest height. From here, you can place the elbows on top of the blocks, press the palms together, and allow the head to drop in between the arms. So allowing the top of the head or the forehead to rest on the ground. And then the thumbs are going to be placed in between the shoulder blades here. So you should feel this stretch in the triceps in the front of the deltoids. And if you don't have any blocks, you can just rest your elbows on the mat in front of you, bringing the thumbs in between the shoulder blades as well. And you should still feel this in your shoulders. Knees can be together or spread apart. You choose whatever is comfortable for the low back and the hips. And once you've found a shape that works for you, 
go ahead and tune back into the breath. With every inhale, see if you can find more length, more depth in this posture, maybe a deeper stretch in the shoulders. And with every exhale, feel your body soften, feel the hips sink lower towards the heels or towards the earth. Feel the chest and the belly sinking closer towards the thighs. Bringing awareness to any different sensations that you feel in your body. And tuning in. How can you use your breath to create more space, to create more freedom in your body? I'm taking one last breath here. If you have blocks, just gently remove them to the side. We're going to come into normal child's pose. So releasing the fingers and the palms, extending the arms straight out in front of you, resting the forehead back onto the mat. We'll go ahead and find three cleansing breaths here. So exhaling where you are. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and let it out. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and exhale it out. Good. One more deep breath, just like that. Big inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Coming back to a natural rhythm of breath. And from here, you can slowly make your way up onto all fours, coming onto the hands and knees, making your way into a tabletop pose. Checking your alignment here, making sure the wrists are directly underneath the shoulders and the knees are underneath the hips. Start to move through a few rounds of cats and cows. So as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. As you exhale, round through the spine, draw the chin to the chest. Inhale, spread the fingers wide, press through the palms. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, round through the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades apart. And then inhale, lift the gaze. Moving through this a few more rounds at your own pace, just matching your movement with your breath. And finding any organic or intuitive movements. Whatever feels good here in your body, maybe shifting the hips from side to side bending the elbows, finding circular movements. And once you're ready, finding a neutral spine and then sending the hips back down towards the heels for child's pose. Taking a breath here. And then as you inhale, lift your upper body forward, sink the hips down, press into the tops of the feet, lift the knees for upward facing dog. Exhale, drop the knees, send the hips back towards the heels, child's pose. Same thing, inhale, roll forward, press into the feet, lift the knees, straighten out the arms, open the heart. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale as you round through the spine, 
Drop the hips, lift the knees, lift the gaze. Exhale, drop the knees, child's pose. Inhale to come up through tabletop. Then lower yourself all the way down to the belly. Bringing the left arm so that it's parallel with the front of the mat. Bending the right knee. And then reaching the right arm inside of the right foot. So coming inside of the foot and then bringing the fingers on top of the toes so that the fingers are facing the same way as the toes. Pressing the palm into the toes, keeping the elbow pointed up towards the sky. Keeping the chest facing the front of the mat. So you should feel the stretch in the quads and the front of the shoulder as well in the deltoids. Breathing space here, allowing the heel to sink closer towards the outer hip. And then gently release the right foot back down, replacing the right arm with the left arm. So right forearm is going to be parallel with the front of the mat, bringing the left hand inside of the left foot. Placing the left palm on top of the foot, fingers facing the same way as the toes, and the elbows pointed up towards the sky. Gaze forward, breathe here. And then gently releasing the left foot back, placing the hands underneath the shoulders, coming through tabletop. Tucking the toes, lifting the knees, lifting the hips for downward facing dog. First down dog of the day, so go ahead and pedal out the feet. Bending one knee and then bending the other. And stretching out the back fascial line, the hamstrings and the calves. Inhale high in the toes, shift into plank pose, bend the knees, downward facing dog. So finding these spinal waves as you inhale, come up high on the toes, shift the body forward into plank. As you exhale, bend the knees and then lift the hips back up. Moving through this a few more times, just finding whatever feels good for you here. Coming back to a neutral downward facing dog, lifting the right leg up, bending the knee, opening up the hip. Straightening out the right leg, placing the right foot back down. Same thing opposite side. Lift the left leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. So you're drawing the left heel towards the glutes. Then straighten out the left leg, set it back down. Drop the knees coming into tabletop pose. Finding core stability here. So again, drawing the low belly in towards the spine. Extend the right arm in front of you and then extend the left leg behind you. Taking a deep inhale. And then as you exhale, draw the elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend the arm and leg. Exhale, round through the spine, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round. Inhale. And then as you exhale, Bend the back knee, reach that right hand for the back of the left foot, kicking the foot into the hand, coming into a baby tiger pose. Gaze forward. And then exhale, slowly release, keeping the arm and leg extended. And then plant the right hand down, kick stand that right foot so you're facing the long ways of your mat. Reach the left arm up towards the sky. Take a big inhale here. As you exhale, draw the bicep to ear, tap the toe to the floor, and then reach the left hand for the back of the left foot, drawing the heel towards the glutes. And gently release, place the left hand back down, and then step the left foot all the way at the top of the mat, coming into a low lunge. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Sinking the hips a little bit deeper, and then exhale, cactus the arms. Placing the hands on the ground, 
coming into half split, so straightening out the left leg. Inhale to find length in the spine. Exhale, fold forward over the left leg. Plant the right hand down, reach the left arm up, coming into a twist. Plant the left hand back down, bending into the left knee, coming back through a low lunge. And then bring the left hand inside of the left foot, coming into lizard pose. Drop the hips down, lift the gaze, keep the chest lifted. Option to stay here if you want, tuck the back toes and then lift the back knee. And you can rock the body forwards and backwards, getting a deeper stretch in that left hip and the right hip flexor. From here, step the left foot back, coming into plank pose. Moving through a vinyasa, so coming into chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Taking a breath here before moving on the opposite side. Coming into plank, dropping the knees for a tabletop pose. Extending the left arm in front of you and extending the right leg back. Big inhale. And then exhale, round through the spine, draw the elbow to the knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring that left hand to the top of the right foot, kicking the foot into the hand, finding a baby tiger. Gaze forward. Breathe here. And then gently release, planting the left hand down, keeping the right foot extended. Kickstand that left foot so you're facing the long ways of your mat. Right arm reaches up. Big inhale, exhale, draw the bicep to the ear, tap the foot to the ground, and then reach the right hand for the top of the right foot, drawing the heel closer towards the glutes. Gently release, bringing the right hand down, facing the front of the mat, and then step the right foot all the way to the top of the mat, coming into a low lunge. From here, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms, bend the elbows, lift the chest. Plant the hands down, half split, straightening out the right leg. Inhale to find length. Exhale, fold. Plant the left hand down, reach the right arm up. Plant the right hand down, framing the front foot, bending into the right knee. And then bringing the right hand inside of the right foot, coming into a lizard pose. Feeling a stretch in the right hip. Choosing to stay here. Pressing into the palms, you can lift the back knee up, tucking the toes, and just rocking forwards and backwards. From here, step the right foot back, coming into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Taking a breath here. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, draw the left knee to the left tricep. Inhale, extend. Exhale, twist, left knee to the right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, Draw the left knee into the chest and then step it forward at the top of the mat. Inhale for a high lunge. As you exhale, find eagle arms. Right arm wraps underneath and around the left arm. Pressing the palms together. And finding warrior two, extending the arms out to the side, hips facing the long ways of your mat. Inhale, reach the body forward. As you exhale, flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Extended side angle, left elbow comes on top of the left knee, right bicep to ear. Reverse triangle, right hand comes to the back of the leg, straightening out the left leg. And then triangle pose, left hand comes on top of the left shin, reaching the right arm up. Plant the right hand down, straighten out the left leg, coming into pyramid pose. 
Inhale to lift your gaze. Exhale to fold over the left leg. Revolved triangle pose. Keep the right hand down. Reach the left arm up, coming into a twist. Plant the left hand down, walk the hand so that you're facing the long ways of your mat. Coming into goddess pose, heels in, toes out. Sink the hips down, bend the knees. Bring the arms out into cactus, 90 degree angle. And then bring the hands on top of the knees. As you inhale, find length, and as you exhale, twist to the right. So bringing the right shoulder in, and then switching, left shoulder in, twisting to the opposite side. Moving through this one more time on each side. Coming back through center, bring the hands to the hips, straighten out the legs. Bring the toes in, heels out this time. Inhale to find length, and as you exhale, fold forward, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Releasing the hands so that they're parallel with the feet. Lifting the hips up a little bit higher, allow the crown of the head to sink towards the ground. Relax the shoulders, relax the face. One more breath here. Big inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, walk the hands to the front of the mat. Step the right foot back coming into plank, moving through chaturanga. Inhale for your upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, draw the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, twist, right knee to the left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hug the right knee into the chest and then step it forward, top of the mat. Inhale, reach the arms up. High lunge. Exhale, eagle arms. This time, left hand comes underneath and around the right arm. Warrior two, opening the arms up. Hips open to the long ways of the mat. Gaze forward. Inhale, reach forward. As you exhale, flip the front palm. Bring the left hand to the back leg, reverse warrior. Extended side angle, right elbow comes on top of the right knee, reaching the left tricep to the ear. Reverse triangle, straighten out the right leg. Left hand comes to the back leg. Triangle pose, right hand to the right shin. Reach the left arm up. Left hand comes down, coming into pyramid pose, readjusting the back leg so that the toes are facing the front of the mat, hips squared as well. Inhale to find length, and exhale, fold. And keep the left hand planted down on the ground, reach the right arm up, coming into revolved triangle pose. Keeping the shoulders stacked, Hips in line. Bring the right hand down. Walk the hands long ways of the mat. Bring the hands to the hips. Inhale to come up to standing. Legs are straight. Toes in. Heels out. Interlace the hands behind the low back. As you inhale, lift the chest. Find length in the spine. As you exhale, fold forward. Coming into another variation of wide-legged forward fold. Keep a slight bend in the knees here. Keep the quads engaged. Find length in the hamstrings. And then gently release your hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walk the hands to the front of the mat, finding plank pose. Moving through your vinyasa, meeting in downward facing dog. Gaze at the top of the mat, step or jump forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up, exhale, chair pose, utkatasana, bending the knees. Sink the hips down, 
and then reach the arms up towards the sky. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Keep the belly engaged. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, bring the arms behind you. Draw the low belly towards the thighs. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, reach the arms back. Inhale to lift. And exhale, lower. One last time. Inhale, reach the arms up. Lift the heels coming up high on the toes and then slowly start to sink the hips towards the heels. Good. From here, come onto the knees so the toes are tucked. Coming into our first back bend, camel pose, Ustrasana. Bring the palms towards the low back just to protect the back here and then play around with the position of the fingers. So fingers are either going to be facing towards the ground or the fingers will be wrapped around the hips. Once you've found your position, gently begin to press the palms into the low back to shift the hips forward. From here, draw the elbows together. So you're going to find retraction of the shoulder blades. So the shoulder blades are drawing towards one another. Lift the chest and then lift the gaze. Once you're ready, slowly come back up. Untuck the toes here if you're ready. Pressing the palms into the low back. Shift the hips forward. Lift the gaze. If it's comfortable for your neck, you can release the head back. And then see if you can reach the hand for the heels. Maybe moving one arm at a time. Keep shifting the hips forward. Keep breathing deep into the low belly. Lift the chest. And then once you're ready... Lift the head back up. Bring each palm back to the low back. Sit back down on the heels, resting the arms on top of the thighs. Go ahead and close your eyes for a moment just to feel the energetic effects of that pose. Notice what it feels like to open your heart. And from here, you can move into child's pose, finding a more restorative variation. So resting the arms alongside the body, keeping the knees together, forehead on the mat. Breathing deep into the low belly. And for our next posture, we'll move into an inversion. We'll practice headstand. But before that, I'll show you a more beginner-friendly variation called rabbit pose. So you'll bring your hands onto the heels, bring your forehead close to the knees, and then from here you'll straighten out the arms so the elbows are straight and you'll lift the hips up. So you're rounding through the spine and drawing the shoulder blades apart. Just allowing your hips to be further above the head. So this is a more simple inversion for beginners, if you'd like to practice that instead of headstand. But I'll go ahead and cue supported headstand next. If you already know how to get into the posture, feel free to go there. So coming up out of child's pose, and then slowly bringing the forearms onto the ground. So from here, you're just going to check to make sure that the elbows are underneath the shoulders by bringing the hands to the outside of the arms. Making sure the fingers can wrap around the arms. And once you've found your alignment, you can interlace the fingers, creating a small cup with the hands. And this is where the crown of the head is going to be pressed against. So you can go ahead and bring the forehead onto the ground making sure that your head is nice and supported with the fingers really press down into the forearms from here you're going to lift the knees up coming up high onto the tiptoes keep pressing into the forearms to lift the shoulders up and from here walk the toes as close to the body as possible you want the hips above the shoulders and you can play around with lifting one foot up bending one knee and then bending the opposite knee and then maybe from here you can float the knee into the chest and this is going to require a lot of core work 
and this takes practice so if you don't get it right away that's perfectly okay you can always come back to this video or you could even pause the video now and just try on your own at your own pace if you have both legs up keep squeezing the legs together point or flex the toes really engaging every single muscle in your body making your way down the same way that you came up slowly and with control making your way into child's pose whatever variation feels best for you here and just coming back to the intention that we set at the beginning of class moving with mindfulness moving with awareness of our bodies honoring our breath honoring ourselves And on your next breath, slowly make your way back up, planting the hands back down, making your way into plank pose, moving through an optional vinyasa, meeting in downward facing dog, gazing at the top of the mat, step or jump forward, and then sink the hips down, coming onto the glutes, lift the feet up, coming into boat pose. Extending the arms to the sides, keep the chest lifted, keep the spine straight. From here, take a big inhale. As you exhale, lower the legs and then lower the upper body so you're hovering here. Inhale to lift back into boat pose. Exhale, half boat pose. Keep the core tight. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower, hovering the legs, hovering the head. Inhale, lift. Last one, exhale to lower, holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Gently release back down to the ground. And taking a moment here to reconnect back to the breath. Go ahead and bend the knees, placing the soles of the feet on the ground. Preparing for bridge pose here. So if you have a block, go ahead and grab it, placing it in between the thighs. Placing the palms back down on the ground so that the fingers are slightly brushing the heels. And then on your next inhale, go ahead and lift the hips up off of the ground, gently squeezing the block, or imagine that you're squeezing a block in between the legs. So energetically drawing the knees closer together, keep pressing into the feet, and as you exhale, slowly lower the hips back down. Removing the block to the side, and finding one more bridge pose here, or choosing to move into full wheel pose variation so you choose here if you're moving into wheel pose variation you can go ahead and place the hands beside the ears just above the shoulders so the fingers are going to be facing the front of the mat or facing the same direction as the toes keep the elbows pointed up towards the ceiling and keep the engagement and the thighs. And on your next inhale, press firmly into the palms to lift the hips up. Just as we did in bridge pose before. And if you're coming into bridge, feel free to go there now. Take another deep inhale, press into the palms, lift the shoulders up, and then come on to the crown of the head. Maybe readjust the hands here if you need to. Take another deep inhale, lift the crown of the head up, coming into wheel pose. Keep the quads engaged. Maybe playing around with different leg variations, maybe straightening out the legs, the knees, walking the toes in closer or further away. Keep breathing here. One more breath. And then whenever you're ready, 
slowly come back down the same way you came into the pose, lowering the crown of the head first, and the shoulders, and then the hips. Once you're on your back, you can bring the knees into the chest, giving yourself a hug. Bringing the soles of the feet back down. Crossing the right ankle on top of the left thigh, coming into a supine pigeon pose. Choosing to stay here if that's a deep enough stretch in your hip. Otherwise, interlacing the fingers and bringing them behind either the shin or the thigh. Hugging both knees closer in towards the body. Breathing here. Allowing the heart rate to slow back down. And from here, release the left foot back down if you had it lifted. We'll find a gentle twist, so keeping the right leg where it's at, just go ahead and drop the left knee over towards the left side of the mat. You can bring the right arm out to the side in cactus shape, gazing over the right side, over the right shoulder if that's comfortable for you. Slowly lifting the left leg back up, uncrossing the right leg and switching sides. So left ankle crosses on top of the right thigh. Choosing to stay here, we're lifting the right foot up, hugging the knees closer in towards the chest. And feeling the stretch in the left outer hip. Allowing the face to soften. Shoulders relaxed. And slowly bring the right foot back down, keeping the left leg where it's at. And dropping the right knee towards the right side, gazing over the left shoulder Finding a gentle supine twist. And coming back to center, uncrossing the leg. And from here, drawing both knees back into the chest, giving yourself one last hug, one last big squeeze of appreciation. And then moving into happy baby, bringing the arms inside of the legs, hands to the outer edge of the feet, allowing the knees to sink towards the outer edges of the ribs, maybe rock from side to side, releasing any tension in the low back or the sacrum. Maybe straightening out the legs, getting one last hamstring stretch. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and extend the legs straight out in front of you as wide as you'd like. Allow the arms to rest beside the body with the palms face up. And go ahead and soften the eyes down. Bringing your awareness back into your physical body. Back into this time and space. And we'll find one last cleansing breath here just to release any stagnant energy. 
So exhaling where you are. Take a big inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. And feel your body soften. Feel your thoughts start to float away as you rest here in Shavasana. And I'll call you back when it's time. Thank you.
slowly start to bring awareness back into this space and slowly waking up the body finding small movements in the fingers and the toes Maybe rolling the wrists, rolling the ankles. Reaching the arms up overhead, pointing the toes, finding a full body stretch. And then when you're ready, rolling onto one side of the body, using your arm as a pillow for your head. ready you can slowly prop yourself back up keeping the eyes closed or the gaze soft coming into a comfortable seated position just taking a moment to reflect reflect on our intention set at the beginning of class to reflect on the practice and to find gratitude for ourselves for making time to come onto our mats and to make time for ourselves. We'll bring our hands to heart center, connecting this energy that we've cultivated on our mats today and bringing this feeling, this sense of calmness, of inner peace with us throughout the rest of our day. Bringing the thumb between the eyebrows to the third eye center. And together we'll bow our heads. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this class, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know how it went for you in the comments below. And sending love to you all. I hope you have a great rest of your day.